Hi dear beloved friends. The very motive and my purpose of life is to work together with all of you and make our life meaningful and purposeful. We must cherish noble ideals, we must have lofty dreams and definite purpose in life to achieve those goals progressively realize our visions, promises and with those achievements we should glorify the millions of people, make them happy, prosperous, joyful in all the three worlds, the material world. They should be blessed with all the amenities, all the facilities and all the blessings of the science and technology. They should be intellectually enlightened they should be educated, their knowledge should be tremendous and they should really practically use those knowledge and convert into wisdom and in the light of that lamp of wisdom they should live a serene, peaceful and happy life. And then the spiritual world. You see the world is today burning. People have every facilities, they have all the riches, but they lack peace of mind, they lack blessedness, and their life is turbulent. They are shadowed by sorrows, and they are scorching in the suffering, grief, pain, worry, anxiety, fret. So there is the need of the spiritual world. So my basic purpose is to talk to you on all the three topics, the material world, where I always tell you the principle of success, the 17 principle of success of Dr. Napoleon Hill. I count few of them. You must have a definite purpose. Must make a mastermind alliance partner with all the greats in that area. You should have the will to win, take personal initiative. You should be always desiring, dreaming, and persevering, persisting to go extra mile competing with everyone, with a lot of respect to become better and better day by day in every way. You should have a pleasing personality. You should always be backed by a positive mental attitude. You should have complete self-discipline, self-control and balanced mind. You should use your imaginative faculty of the mind, that is your imagination. You should have tremendous belief and faith in your ability and capability. You should budget your time, money and energy. You should maintain a very sound physical health and you should learn the lessons to work in a dream. No individual any time in the life can be really successful unless he takes the cooperation of other people who have really excelled in that line. And you should have the six basics which you learn from the think and grow rich. Desire, decision, faith, persistence, master money lines and well-organized planning. Beloved friends, if you really follow this principle which has been described by Napoleon Hill, where I am really doing the mastery, you will have all the material possessions of this earth. But beloved friends, remember it. Unless you enlighten yourself, get the wisdom, you can never have peace of mind and prosperity. And there comes the path, the way. You have to be your own lamb. You have to be your own refuse. You have to be a self-believing and self-confident person. You should have to follow the path of truth and justice. You should have to follow the path of peace, love and non-violence. You should have to harbor the noble thought in your mind because at the great Buddha said, the divine Siddhartha, we are what we think. All that we are arises from our thought. With our thought, we make the world. And as great Al Nayangil said, we, we become what we think about. And as the great Ralph Waldo Emerson said, the man is what he thinks about all day long. And as Marcus Aurelius, the wisest man of Roman Empire said, the man is what he talks makes of him. Beloved friends, there is only one topic where the whole world 
the poets, the thinkers, the philosophers, the prophets and all the wise men have complete, absolute unanimity. Beloved friends, and James Allen, the great spiritual leader and the great poet and thinker said, the thought in the mind has made us what we are by thought was wrought and built. If a man's mind has evil thought, pain comes of him as it comes the wheel ox behind. If one endures in the purity of thought, joy follows him as his own shadow. Sure. Beloved friends, be very careful. Your thought become words, words also get transmitted into action. Your action become your fate and destiny. And with your thought you create your conditions and environment and all the circumstances of your life. So intellectual word, by learning all this, I am shaping. And then if you really implement such tremendous wise thoughts, that is the knowledge, what to do and what not to do, you will shape your spiritual world. And there is the real happiness and peace and joys. There is real tranquility, serenity and poise. There is the true wisdom. You have to be self-content, self-reliant, self-believing, a great human being who believes that you are the master of your fate and captain of your soul. You are the builder of your life, the maker of your destiny and the shaper and creator of your conditions, environment and all the congenial circumstances is emerging from your thoughts. Control your thought, control your world and you will be free from all fret, worries and anxieties and every day will be the best day of life as said the great Ralph Waldo Emerson. Write it in your heart. Every day is the best day of the year. Beloved friends, every day is the best day of the year and he is only rich he wants the day and nobody wants the day if he allows it to be invaded by fret, worries and anxieties. This day is so beautiful. Begin it well and serenely and forget about yesterday. You have done what you could do. Some blunders and absurdities no doubt should crept in. Begin each day with serenely and with a high spirit to be cumbered by the dead yesterday. This, this, this day is too dear. With some new hopes and inspiration to worry about yesterday. Beloved friends, let the dead past bury with his dead and have no trust in your future. Act, act in the living present, heart within and God overhead. And beloved friends, be a brave man, be a wise man. And as great Buddha says, see the world in the right perspective. Have a proper understanding. Don't be clinging, craving, running after loves and fishes like a monkey which is jumping from tree to tree and getting nothing in life except frustration, disappointment, discouragement, worries, anxieties and fret and suffering, sorrows. Be a wise man. Think novel thoughts. Dwell in the purity of thoughts. And there is your peace, prosperity and happy. Have minimum desires. The desire which become your purpose and that purpose is making you happy. And with your action, you are becoming a source of inspiration to millions of people to make them happy and joyous. Because you are a wise man. You are a great man. You are a successful man. You are very sincere about your life. The precious life should not become a funeral pyre when you are alive. You should breathe easy, comfortable, peaceful. That is true success. Beloved friends, the servants of yours, Virendra Diyar, sincerely pray God for all your wisdom, for all your success and greatness. Please be a part of my journey towards 
glory, name, fame and all. Because, you know, this world is yours to conquer and to rule. And that is the glory of your life. But you must learn the stringent laws by schooling yourself. And here begin and end solace strife. And also remember what Ralph Waldo Emerson wrote while he was telling us the message in his essay, Self-Reliance, man is his own star. And the soul that can render an honest and a perfect man commands all light, all influence and fate. And nothing comes to him early or too late. Our acts, our angels are good or ill. Our fatal shadows that walk by sit still. Beloved friends, here again you see the thought in the mind has made us. This is your thought. The thought of bravery, greatness, success and all the wonderful, glorious, noble, peaceful and loving thoughts that is only going to give you and conquering all the three worlds of yours, the material world, the intellectual world, and the spiritual world. Then only you are really a man. And then I can tell you, yours is the earth and everything that's in it, and which is more, you will be a great man, my dear friends, my comrades. I love you and thank you very much. May God bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A smile. Be happy. A strive to be cheerful. And also remember, if you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you, if you can trust yourself when all men doubt you but make allowance to your doubting too, if you can wait and not be tired by waiting, or being lied about, don't deal in lies. Or being hated, don't give way to hating. Yet, don't look too good, nor talk too wise. If you can meet with triumphs and disaster, treat those two imposters just the same. If you can force your heart, nerves and sinew to serve your turn to long after they are gone. So hold on when there is nothing in you. Accept the will who say to them, hold on. Be not impatient in delay, but wait. And as one who understands, when his spirit rises and commands, the gods are ready to obey. Beloved friends, these inspiring words, these words of wisdom will really stimulate your intelligence and you will discover and perceive the truth that you are the maker of yourself the shaper of your destiny and you can say very strongly you are the master of your fate and captain of your soul by virtue of the fact that you have the absolute control on your mind you are directing and nourishing towards noble thoughts the thoughts of greatness the thought of success the thought of serving the millions of people Sincerely, without any greed and without any anticipation and without a lust for compensation. And here is your glory. You will be great. I remember the immortal words of Shakespeare, which I never forget. This is a golden opportunity for you. Grab it. Never miss the chance in your life. You have only one life. There is a tide. There is a tide in the affairs of man who taken as a flood leads one to fortune, omitted all the voyage of their life, they're bound in shallows and miseries. On such a full sea are we now afloat, we must take the current when it serves or lose our venture. Be alert, be conscious, be enlightened, be wise, waste not a moment of your life. Persevere. Persist with dedication, with energy, with enthusiasm, with willpower. 
commanding, demanding from yourself all the greatness because you have the power. If you have a will and if you have a courage, you have all the tools and equipments what all the great men have got. Is it not strange how princes and kings and the clones that caper to the sawdust rings and common people like you and me are builders for eternity? Each and given a set of tools, a shapeless mass and a bag of tools. And each must find fashion or life is flown into a stumbling block or a stepping stone. Decide what you want. You have the power of your mind. Whatever the mind can conceive and believe, the mind can really achieve for you. But are you ready to become great? Are you ready to use the power? Persevere, persist. Embrace the power of your mind. Impress the power of your mind. Control it and direct it towards anything and everything what you want in life and the mind can give you. You remember, life's battle don't always go to the stronger, the faster man, but sooner or late, the man who wins is the man who thinks one can. And you are such a great man who believes you can do it with a will, with a courage, with a determination, with your supreme consciousness, enlightening wisdom to glorify yourself, to attain immortality, blessedness. May God bless you. You will be what you will to be. Believe in those words, their immortal words. And those who sought, they found it. And those who knock at the door of greatness and success open for them. And it is also for you. You can do it if you believe you can do. May God bless you and I thank you very much. Your fate and destiny is rising like this beautiful sun in the eastern horizon. It is reddish, but soon you will see that your glory and greatness will touch the genius of progress, prosperity, love, name, fame, fortune. All will shower to you because you are brave. And brave only deserve everything. All. Lives of great men all remind us we can make our life sublime and departing leave behind us footprints on the sense of time. Yes, you have to become great and inspire millions to become great. That is the true meaning of your life, the purpose of your life. Thank you.